if you can't decide between Blossom and Root Early Years Volume 1 or Early Years Volume 2, this video is for you. I'm going to go over each one, pros and cons, and tell you how they are similar and how they are different. So if you're interested in that, please keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Morgan. Welcome. I'm a homeschooling mom of two, um, homesteader, all kinds of stuff. So um, if you're interested in homesteading, homeschooling, homemaking, anything like that, please hit the subscribe button and follow me on all social channels. They will be in the description box. Today I'm going to be talking about the Blossom and Root Early Years Volume 1 and Volume 2. I have already done a video on just this one, I believe. I don't know if I've done... A full video on just the second volume yet I'm not sure um, but today I'm gonna be doing a really quick comparison and kind of like a compare and contrast of these two so I can help you decide which one you should purchase for your kids um, or kid or whatever so my child is not napping she's almost two and she's decided that she is just too cool for school and doesn't want to listen to me and take a nap so I just put her down about three minutes ago um, and she's yelling at me. So just ignore her. She's perfectly fine. Okay. Um, so I have like a little cheat sheet here to compare and contrast the two volumes. So first things first, these both come from right from the Blossom and Root um, website and they are both PDF files. I got them printed and bound through Hard Copy HQ. So highly recommend that. And they actually do a discount for Blossom and Root, um, Blossom and Root families. So you just, like you purchase the curriculum, send, when you order through Hard Copy HQ, you like put a screenshot of your order and they will actually give you a discount on um, printing and binding and stuff. So that's just a little tidbit. So first things first, the Blossom and Root Early Years Volume 1 this according to the website is for ages like two to three and this is like preschool because there's like preschool and pre-k this is like preschool two to three um this has this is 22 dollars for just the pdf not the not the printed just the pdf itself is 22 dollars um and you could print that yourself it's just my printer sucks so i need to get it printed um 22 dollars this has um, more of like a math exploration, less of like number recognition that comes more along in the early years volume two. So this is more like a playful type of math. So this, this level, yeah, I guess level volume, volume one has something called kindness and connectivity. And that's kind of like, um, I didn't read through every single one yet, but they're like nursery rhymes, um, Like this one, it's, this is week 32. It says, this week in kindness and connectivity, little hearts. For no reason at all, draw a little heart on your child's hand one day using a washable marker. Tell them you love them and that your heart is always with them no matter what. Re revisit this if your child is having a stressful or emotional day. Draw the same little heart on their hand and tell them your heart is with them no matter what. So this kind of just social skills, social, social, emotional, well-being, wellness, things like that. I think that is what this is for. Um see what else is have a yes day have your child decide what they want to do for the day like just different things like that just social well-being um so that's really cool to have in here that is not in the pre-k ages four to five or the um volume two that one's not in that but it is in here for the littles because really school for two and three year olds is not like school you know um and then this also has a more playful science a more um, they're both nature-based curriculums, but the volume one is way more like play science and less in experimental, um, if that makes any sense. But this is geared, I would say, more for two and three-year-olds. So, moving on to Blossom and Root Early Years Volume 2. This one is $45 for the PDF. It is like 
can't really tell, but it is a lot longer than, or a lot bigger than that one. It has a lot more information um, and more like educational. This is more of a, this is way more play and nature based than this one. This one has a lot more like letter recognition, number recognition, things like that. So um, I would say personally, this is more of a pre-K for ages four to five in there. Um, like I said, it has letter recognition and letter sounds. That was not in the other one. That It was more like reading books and talking about stories and things like that. But this one actually, volume two actually has like, this is the letter B, um, things like that. So let's see, this one does not have the kindness and connectivity, but this one does have foundational math where it actually like, you can, you learn how to count numbers and let's see and recognize numbers, I'm trying to find one. Patterns, quantities, comprehension, number comprehension, counting up to 20. I'm just flipping through here. Um, so yeah, this is much more um, educational much, I don't want to say rigorous, it's not rigorous, um, but this is a lot more math and letter recognition that a four and five year old would need. So I think it's right on track with like what a normal school would be doing, like in public school. I think it's right on track with that. Um, and this also has, instead of that kindness and connectivity, it actually has a STEM section for each week. And they're like actual activities, like experiments and things you can do. This one's balloon releasing, which sounds bad, but I don't think they're releasing balloons like into the into the atmosphere. Um, yeah, blow up a balloon and pinch it close with your fingers. Ask the child to guess what happened when you let it go, and then do the test. So that's like a basic um, hypothesis and learning how to do experiments and things like that, inference, all that kind of stuff. So I would say this is better for a four and five year old somewhere in there. So to compare them, they are both 36 weeks long. They both have picture and composer studies, um, like art and composer studies. So that's really good. Very Charlotte Mason based, play based, nature based, both of them equally like that. Oh, they're both secular. These are both a secular cur curriculum. Um, nature study is in both of them. And there is a thing called kitchen classroom in both of them, which I really love because as a homeschool family, we spend most of our homeschool day in the kitchen. Actually we do, our homeschool is actually at our kitchen table. So um, incorporating the kitchen is great. So like one of the kitchens, kitchen things for, um, for the volume one is rolling Play-Doh, dough or Play-Doh into worms. Um, and you can find motor and then you can actually start if your kids there you can start doing like letter and number recognition with just the dough so that's the volume one and then in the volume two one of the kitchen classrooms is oh a lot of these are um doing anything they just put anything with the letter r so raisins raspberries rice crispy treats um my daughter is not napping Let's see, let me find another kitchen thing. Okay, um, this week in the kitchen classroom, week 30. Did I already do week 32? I read that for something else. Um, in the kitchen with letter team TH, bake a thunder cake. And then you can read, it goes with the story thunder cake with um, that you also read in this week. Um, thick, thin mints, three bean salad, thousand island dressing. It just has things... Um, it goes along, it's just like a little kitchen thing that you can do along with whatever you were learning that week. So um, this is just more general and this is more focused would, would be what I would say. So this is more play, this is more learning, but kids learn through play. So it's just age dependent, I would say. Like I said a million times, I would say two to three for volume one and th um, four to five for volume two. If your kid, um, like Owen, my son Owen is too old for this. He would not... This would not be challenging enough for him. He would not be into volume one. Um, he just turned four. So I would definitely have him do volume two. Um, so that's just, that's just in our house, this is where we would start. So if your kid is like three going on four and you think that they might be a little bit too past this, I would skip right into level two. Personally, I wouldn't go with level one. I would go right for level two, unless you have like little, 
younger kids you can get both even if you wanted to um but i personally would go with level two so i hope this helped a little bit if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and i will answer them as fast as i can as best as i can um I'm not sure what else you would want to know the comparison wise between these two, but I figured I didn't see a lot of information on a good comparison between volume one and volume two. So um, I will link these both down below, but this was volume one and volume two of the early years Blossom and Root. And if you want some more information or if you want some more content around Blossom and Root or like you want to see us do a lesson from here, let me know and I'll show you maybe like we'll do a full week of Blossom and Root only education. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe, stay tuned and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Bye.